Hi everybody. Well, this is actually my first kind of a uh, how-to video for you. Back in 2010, I began going to a pain management clinic for a very severe ankle injury that I had had surgery for, and I became heavily addicted to first hydrocodone, Lortab, and then extremely heavily addicted to Percocet which is oxycodone and I have been clean completely of all narcotics for almost 11 weeks now and I did that without having to go into rehab and I was hoping to maybe offer some advice and some tips of some things that I did that worked for me and things that I did to help myself get off of it and kind of what to expect if you're going through narcotic withdrawal or opiate withdrawal it is not a fun process, but it can be done. It's very difficult. It takes a lot of determination and stubbornness, which I have plenty of that because I was determined to get myself off of those pills because I just didn't feel right on them. I did not feel good. I wanted to be off of them so badly, and coming off of them was probably one of the absolute hardest things I have ever done in my entire life. So it's something I never want to have to go through again, and it's something I would never wish on anyone. But hopefully this will help somebody. Um, first of all, you need to have a good support group. I, had, uh, I have a wonderful psychiatrist who helped me through this. Uh, my chiropractor was a big uh, aid in helping me with getting off the Percocet. And then I had my parents, my brother and his wife and my in-laws, my husband. And I just, and my friends, and I just had a really good support system. And I had people I could go to and talk to and cry to and yell to whenever I needed to. And that helped a lot. And that was, that is the thing. That and determination are two of the big things that you need. And it took me probably about five months to finally get off Percocet completely. And it is a long, drawn-out procedure. It's not fun. It's hard. I mean, I'll tell you flat out right now. It's something that I wouldn't recommend to anybody. I recommend if you've or you're thinking on of getting on some sort of opiate medication, think twice because coming off of it is pure and total hell. And I don't wish that on anybody. But what I did was I took my allotted amount of pills and at first, you know, about every week to every two weeks, just kind of how based on how my body was feeling. I would reduce it down by sometimes a half a pill, sometimes a quarter of a pill. But what I would do is I would put in a pill cutter, and you can get those at Walmart or Dollar General or Family Dollar, or different drug stores, you can get a pill splitter. And I highly recommend getting one of those. And what I did was I took my daily allotted amount of pills, and I cut them into fourths, and... Basically, I took them as I needed them, and about every, probably about every two weeks more so. I tried to do every week, but every week was really difficult, so I ended up probably more every two weeks. I would go down, um, try to go down a half. If I couldn't go out down a half, I would go down a quarter of a pill, anything less. And the less you get on the more painful it is, the more difficult it is. Um, the very beginning is really hard. The very, the middle's hard, the end's hard, it's all hard. Um, but cutting the pills into force, and then also I was told by my doctor to take um, the full allotted amount for that day and for however long I wanted to take it before I went down, let my body adjust, and then my body would almost naturally adjust and let me go down a little bit. And that was really, really good. Um, 
and when I got down to really low amounts like one pill what I would do is I would actually cut it into eighths and I would take as little as possible and then once I finally got down to like a half and a fourth I finally I just I just completely went off of it at the very end I did mix in a little bit of um, Lortab 5's just to help with the transition from getting from the Percocet to being completely off the Percocet and that little transition did help and it didn't take but a few Lortab 5's to help me get through that um, what to expect is at the beginning you're going to have a lot of shaking, hot, sweaty, you might get sick. Um, you go through a lot of mood swings throughout the entire thing. A lot of rage and anger and a lot of emotional cry and just frustration. And it's very difficult. There is a lot of, I found for me there was a lot of pain associated with it. And the pain was worse than any pain that I had actually gone to pain management for. It was way worse. And it affected not only my right foot that I was being treated for, but my left foot. And the pain that I would have would be burning. And when I say burning, I mean like standing on a hot frying pan burning hot to the point where I would have to put ice packs on my feet and even sleep with ice packs on my feet to get any rest and I couldn't cover my feet up under anything because just the heat built up so bad and you would touch the bottom of my feet and they would just be fiery hot and that that went on for probably oh gosh I probably about the second month into it is when it started and it didn't stop and well even now I still have a little bit of it it's been almost seven weeks since I've been off but it's been gradually getting better and it is a lot better now than it was um, but that pain and that burning you just got to be careful not to give in to it because that pain and that burning is your body's response of telling you I want some more drugs and you've got to fight it and I found you know keeping myself busy and active and working and just doing things I really enjoyed and just getting my mind focused on something else besides myself and luckily with my work I was able to really do that and it made a big difference and the more of the Percocet that I was able to come off of, the more people noticed a difference in me and I noticed a difference in myself. And it took a long time and I am here for anybody who is going through that. Feel free to comment. If you don't mind, subscribe to my channel and I will probably do some more updates in the future. And also, if you have any questions about what I did and what I went through I would be more than happy to share more with you and if you want to share your story I would love to hear it because I know that I wasn't alone in going through this I know it's a big problem nowadays and I have family members that are addicted and uh, haven't been able to go off of it and I have friends that have been addicted and it's not fun but you can do it and that's the big thing you got to remember. So remember, have a good support system around you. And then have a lot of determination and be determined to get off of it. Get yourself a pill cutter and cut the pills down into fourths. And then just regularly let your body stabilize and then regularly go down. And eventually you will get off of it. It's going to take a long time. It's frustrating. But the thing you got to remember is you can do it. It can be done. And I am living proof of that. So I just want to thank you for your time. And I hope to hear from some of you. Bye.